Hello everyone! So, ituloy natin yung ating discussion about sa ating uh, chapter 4 compression member sa topic na flexural buckling. So, this is our problem number 1 for flexural buckling. A W360 by 110 of A992 steel has a length of 6 meters and pin ends. Computer design compressive strength for LRFD and the allowable compressive strength for AST. So, ito yung ating figure and then given na yung ating properties. Pero kung isasolve ninyo yung AG natin dito gamit yung ating figure na nakagiven, hindi siya mag equivalent dito sa properties na nakalagay na 14,000. Ang masolve ninyo is almost 13,800 kasi itong uh, given na properties na to is galing sa mismo ano eh, a table. Okay? So, ang given dito is ano, um, W14 by 74. So, English unit po ito, then convert lamang natin into metric system. Okay, and uh, isa pa, um, itong 14 by 74 na to is hot rolled section. So, ibig sabihin, um, specific na yung shape niya, hindi siya built up section or member. So, meron pa ritong ano yan, um, yan, yung para siyang, hindi siya naka-weld eh, okay? So, isang section siya na ganyan. Okay, may fillet siya rito na part. And yung fillet part na yun, or yung fillet area part na yun is uh, yun yung kulang dun sa uh, 13,800 para makomplete yung 14,065mm uh, squared. Okay, pero syempre, uh, for simplicity ng ano natin, ng drawing, ganito na lang yung ginawa ko. So, tinanggal ko na lamang yung fillet. So, uh, just to remind you na yung properties na to is galing sa mismong uh, properties ng uh, ng ating section from table. Okay, then, given yung ating IX and IY, ang ating IX is 331.32 times 10 raised to 6 mm to the 4th, and yung ating IY is 55.78 times 10 raised to 6 mm to the 4th. So, sabi rito, hanapin rin natin yung design compressive strength for LRFT. Of course, kahit hindi naman natin sabihin na for LRFT to, alam natin na ang design compressive strength is under ng LRFD, right? Kasi, Design compressive strength ang sinabi rito. And then, uh, also the allowable compressive strength. So, ibig sabihin, kung allowable to, under to sa ASD. So, before natin makuha yung design and allowable compressive strength, kailangan muna natin makuha yung nominal compressive strength natin. And based on NCP 2015 requirements, yung ating nominal compressive strength is equivalent to FCR multiplied by AG. Na kung saan, Yung ating FCR is makukuha natin, uh, okay, makukuha natin kung uh, inelastic or elastic buckling yung ating member. And for that, we must uh, solve first the effective slenderness ratio. So, kung babalikan natin ng NSCP dito, ayan. So, yung ating effective slenderness ratio is yung KL over R. Then, yung compare natin sa uh, 4.71 square root of E over FY. But before that, dapat hindi lalagpas yung ating KL over R sa ating limit na 200. So, solve natin. Okay? So, KL over R. So, wala tayong given na R, pero alam naman natin na ang radius of gyration is equivalent to square root of I over AG. And, sabi to sa NSCP, uh, yung ating R is the governing radius of gyration. Di ba diniscuss ko na yan sa introduction? So, pipili natin na R is yung pinakamaliit. So, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yun sa ating weak axis. And to, to determine the weak axis of the member, yun yung may maliit na moment of inertia. Which is dito sa ating ano, section that is IY. Okay? Kasi yung position ng ating ano, ng or orientation ng ating uh, member is ganito. Pero kung nakahiga yan, yung ating magiging uh, weak axis is yung ating IX. Yung IX uh, kasi yung makakarasip ng 55.78 times 10 raised to 6. Anyway, kapag compressive strength naman, usually ganito yung ano, orientation ng ating mga figure. Kaya huwag kayong papalito doon. Okay? So ngayon, kunin natin yung R, which is manggagaling sa ating uh, y-axis. So yun yung ating RY. Okay? So RY is equivalent to square root of IY over AG. The square root of IY, which is 58.78 times 10 raised to 6 over uh, gross area yan so 62.975 millimeters okay then yung length natin is 6 meters 
Then yung key natin is equivalent to 1. 1.0. Bakit? Kasi pin end. So, kung babalikan natin yung discussion sa introduction, ayan. So, under yun sa letter D. Okay? Dalawang ano, uh, support na pin. Okay? So, 1.0 yung ating K. So, therefore, yung ating effective is learner's ratio is equivalent to 1.0 multiplied by length na 6 meters. So, 6 times 10 raised to 3. Kasi ginawa natin siyang millimeters. Okay? Over RY, which is millimeters then So, 62.975 millimeters. So, yung ating KL over RY or yung ating effective slenderness ratio is 6, uh, 6 times 10 raised to 3 over 62.975. 95.276. Which is less than sa 200 yung ating limit. So, okay tayo rito. Ang gagamitin natin na effective slenderness ratio is yung KL over RY. And then, solve natin yung isa pang limit natin. Yung 4.71 square root of E over FY. Yung ating E is 200 times 10 raised to 3. Okay, or giga, uh, yung 200 gigapascal. Yung ating FY is magagaling sa A992 still. Okay? Okay, so, yung A992 kasi, yung ating FY dyan, yan, yung ating FY is... 50 KSI. And that is equivalent to, uh, okay, dito natin ilagay. Kapag uh, metric or uh, SI unit, that is equivalent to 345 mega pascal. Okay? So, ilan to? So, 4.71 square root of E, which is 200 giga pascal. So, convert natin ito mega pascal kasi mega pascal to, yung ating FY. So, times 10 raised to 3. Over FY na 345. So, this is 113.403. 113.403. So, ngayon, ang mangyayari, yung ating KL over R, uh, yung ating effective slenderness ratio na KL over R is less than sa 4.71 square root of E over FY. So, kung balikan ulit natin ng ating NSCP 15 requirements, that is under dito sa condition number 1. Ah, sorry, this ano ah, condition number 2 ah. Di pa natin na correct, no? Okay, so this is number 2. So, ngayon ito ay number 1. Kasi less than tayo sa 4.71 square root of E over FY. Therefore, our FCR is equivalent to 0.658 raised to FY over FE multiplied by FY. Okay? So, ngayon, yung ating ano, ah, uh, Member is, ano nga ba? Inelastic. Okay? So, kung babalikan rin natin yung ano, ang dapat binabalikan, no? Okay? Kung babalikan natin yung table, ayan, nalobat yung ating, ano, laptop. Okay? Ayan. Kung babalikan natin tong table natin, or sorry, this is graph pala, graph ng ating FCR and uh, effective slenderness ratio under tayo rito. Ayan. So, andito, andito tayo sa inelastic buckling na kung saan, Yung ating uh, FCR is greater than the proportional, uh, uh, yes, uh, sa proportional limit than before, or uh, uh, yes, uh, less than, okay, sa FY. Okay, ito yung equation. So, sulat natin. Therefore, inelastic buckling tayo. So, yung ating FCR is equivalent to 0.658 raised to FY over FE multiplied by FY. So, solve natin yung ating Euler stress or yung ating elastic buckling stress. Okay, so pi squared E over KL over R is squared. So, pi squared E over KL over R is squared. Okay? So, meron na tayong ano, KL over R, which is 95.276. So, pi squared multiplied by E. So, gawin natin mega pascal. And then, uh, uh, divided by 95.276 squared. Okay? So, yung ating FE is 217.452. So, 217.452. Mega pascal. So, masolve na natin yung FCR natin. So, yung ating critical buckling stress is equivalent to 
0.658 raised to okay fy which is 345 over fa na 217.452 multiplied by fy which is equivalent to 345 So, 0.658 or ayan, 0.658 raised to FY345 over 217.452 multiplied by FY na 345. So, 177.592. Uh, 177.592 so, pascal So, makukuha na natin ngayon yung ating nominal okay, uh, compressive strength. So, 177.592 multiplied by AG, which is equivalent to 14,065. Balik natin yung ano, no? Uh, R. Tama ba yung nasulat ko? Ayan, so 14,065. So, tama lang. So, 177.592 multiplied by AG na 14,065. So, nakuha natin dito is kilo newton. Ah, sorry, newton. Okay, so pakita natin yung conversion. This is mega pascal, no? So, kung mega pascal to, this is also equivalent to newton per millimeter squared. And then, yung ating area is in millimeter squared. So, newton yung makukuha natin na strength. Then, divide na lang natin into 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, ang sagot is 2497.83. So, 2497.83. Kilo Newton. Okay, so for LRFD, yung ating design strength is P, uh, P sub C, PN, is equivalent to 0.90. Kasi di ba ano to uh, ang gilding niya is yung buckling hindi ba? And then gross area naman tayo so therefore ang gagamitin natin na uh, P sub C is 0.90. Then multiplied by PN na 2497.83. So ang ating design strength okay so 2497.83 multiplied by 0.90 or kinukuha natin yung 90% lamang nung total uh, nominal strength natin or nung available strength natin. Okay? So, 2248.047. So, 2248.047 kilo newton. So, ito na yung ating design strength. Okay? Hindi naman natin siya, hindi naman siya kagaya ng tension member na kinocompare pa natin sa fracture failure kasi wala namang fracture failure dito. Kasi ang failure na, yun nga, uh, ang pila na mangyayari nga sa ating compre uh, compression member is buckling. Okay? And then, for uh, ASD, Okay? Yung ating nominal strength is i-divide natin ng sigma sub C. Na kung saan ang ating uh, sigma sub C is equivalent to 1.67 kasi gross area. Okay? So, yung ating allowable strength is equivalent to uh, divide natin ng 1.67 1495.707 kilo newton okay balikan lang po natin no, kasi may nakatanong ata sa comment section saan daw uh, para saan uh, kailan daw gagamitin yung 0.66 FY ayan um, I believe na discuss na po namin siya sa introduction. Yung 0.66 FY po is dito nang galing sa 1.67. So, uh, 1 over 1.67 is 0.598. Okay, that is 0.60 of FY. Okay, 0.66 ba siya? Ewan ko, saan nang galing yung 0.66? Alam ko, 0.60 FY lang po yun. Okay? Tapos yung isa naman po is 0.50 FY. Okay? Okay? May nagtanong po ata ng 0.66. 0.60 lang po yata yon sa pagkakaalala ko. Okay? Kasi yung nagaling yun sa 1.67. Kung babalikan rin po natin dito, yung ating, ano, uh, P sub C, asan siya? Okay. Ito, yan. Okay, yung ating P sub C is 0.90 and yung ating sigma sub C is 1.67. And 
Yung 1.67 na po yun is yun nga po yung ating 0.60 FY. Okay? Hindi po siya 0.66. Okay? Ayan, so ito na po yung ating um, allowable okay, uh, compressive strength. Okay, so ganun lang po siya kasimple. Okay, so step by step lang naman siya. Okay, so sir, paano po kung ginamit po namin is RX? Okay, so try natin kapag RX ang kinuha natin. So, ang IX natin is 331.32 times 10 raised to 6 over AG. Ang AG natin is 14.065. Ang makukuha kasi natin na ano dyan, R is 153.48. So, kung ito po yung gagamitin natin na R dito, sobrang liliit yung ating effective slenderness ratio. Which is sobrang uh, palayo na sa 200. Okay, kasi uh, parang sinabi mo na rin na ano, na... Uh, hindi tayo mag-fail. Okay? Kasi di ba ang gusto natin is makuha natin yung uh, pinakasagad na failure ng ating uh, member. Kaya kung ang gagamitin natin is mas malaking ano, uh, R, mali yung makukuha natin slenderness ratio or effectiveness or effective slenderness ratio. So, hindi natin mamimit yung failure. So, pag di natin mamimit yung failure, hindi natin makukuha yung kanyang uh, capacity in terms of buckling. Hindi ba? So, makukuha natin effective slender ratio dyan is 1 multiplied by 6 times 10 ratio 3 over 153. 0.48 tala yun. Yan. So, 39.093. Anyway, kapag nag-solve ka pa rin naman ng, ano, ng effective slender ratio, ipagko-compare mo pa rin naman yan eh. Okay? Sa so, 95.276 and 39.093. So, ano pang pipili natin? Yung mas malaki. Okay? Kasi yun yung critical eh. Kaya nga sinabi siyang weak. Okay, kapag sinabi natin siyang uh, weak axis, siya yung nangangailangan ng lateral bracing eh. Okay, doon mas mabilis na magkaroon ng ano, pag-buckling uh, ng ating uh, member. Okay, so 95.276 pa rin po yung kukunin natin. Kasi meron, baka meron kasi sa mga professor ninyo, ang gawin, uh, pakuha yung KL over RX and then KL over RY. Okay, it depends. Okay, so meron tayong example na ganun. Pero dito, sa example number 1 natin, automatic na RY yung ating gagamitin kasi siya yung governing radius of gyration. Lalo na, wala naman po tayong lateral bracing okay, or lateral support na kagaya nito. Okay, uh, saan nga ba namin discuss yan? Wala po tayong lateral support na ganito. Okay, so ganito lang siya, kasimple. Okay, so this is our problem number one for lectural backlink. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye!